What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So today I wanted to make a video just showing, showing some tips for using the line tool for modeling within SketchUp. So this is going to be a great video if you're a beginner in SketchUp. Um, this video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. Um, if you're interested in more SketchUp training, uh, something a little bit more in depth that takes you just kind of start to finish in SketchUp, make sure you check that out at the SketchupEssentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so tip one is one I see a lot of beginners doing, um, and that is you don't want to click and drag when you're modeling in your model. And the reason for that is a lot of the time what'll happen is somebody will activate the line tool, then they'll come in here and they'll just click and they'll hold their mouse button and they'll drag and then they'll let up on the mouse button. And so what that does is that comes in here and that draws a line. And you can do that in here as many times as you want. The problem with that is I can't draw a continuous line doing things this way. And really this is a good policy for any tool in SketchUp. Don't click and drag. Instead what you want to do is you want to single click and then move your mouse. So you can see how now I'm not holding the mouse button down anymore and I can move this around wherever I want. And so the nice thing about this is it also allows me to create continuous lines just by single clicking over and over again. So that's a big tip is just don't click and drag when you're using tools and especially the line tool in SketchUp. Um, tip tools, tip two is a very simple one, but um, it is very important because you're single clicking, what you can do is you can come in here and you can type a value for a length. So in this case, if I single click on this point right here and then I move my mouse in a direction and I type in a length, so in this case 10 feet and I hit the enter key, I can draw lengths very precisely. So it's one of the basic functions of SketchUp, but it's also very important. So tip three is you wanna use axis locking in your model. So anytime you're drawing in SketchUp, it's really a good idea to try to draw along the axes as much as possible. And part of the reason for that is if you just kind of like draw off into space, kind of like this, you can't really tell where your line is going. If it's going up, if it's going across, you can't really tell where it's going. But if you draw along the axes, then first of all, everything that you draw is going to be on the same plane so you won't have problems making faces within SketchUp. So a lot of the time what people will do is they'll just kind of draw off into space and the problem is when you draw off into space and you're not locked to an axis then you can't really tell where your line is going and this also creates uh, alignment issues later on. So what you want to do instead is you want to try to draw everything as much along the axes as possible and one great tip for that is when you activate a tool like the line tool you can tap the arrow keys on your keyboard to lock to an axis. So you can see how I tap the right arrow key. Now I can move my mouse wherever and the line that I draw is going to be on the red axis. So your left arrow key is going to lock you to the green axis. Your up arrow key is going to lock you to the blue axis. So axis locking is going to be very important. So the next tip is going to be to use inferencing. And so inferencing is a very powerful tool within SketchUp. So let's say for example that I had these lines and I wanted to draw a line the same length as this one. Well, what I would do is I would single click on this point in order to uh, lock my tool to this point. And so what inferencing is gonna do is it's gonna give you an indicator of when you're lined up with another point. So this is SketchUp basically guessing where you might want your lines to go. So in this case, what this is doing is when I move my mouse this direction and I get to this point, SketchUp saying, hey, you're now parallel with this point. Do you wanna draw your line right here? If you use inferencing in this way, then it becomes really easy to draw the shapes that you want to shape. So in addition, you can also lock to an axis by holding the shift key. So instead of using the arrow keys, if I move my mouse over an axis like the green axis, so if I'm drawing parallel to the green axis and I hold the shift key, now my mouse or my line is going to be locked to that axis. And so then I can move my mouse off to the side and I could kind of inference um, if I'm parallel with certain things or if I'm aligned with certain things within my model. So if you use inference locking and inferencing or axis locking by holding the shift key and inferencing, then this can be a really powerful tool. So another thing you can do within SketchUp is you can split edges by using other lines. So like for example, let's say I had this line and I wanted to split this into multiple pieces. What I could do is I could come in here and I could draw little points coming off of this. And you can see what that does is that splits my line into different pieces. 
So you can you you can split your lines into different pieces by doing this. In the same way, you can heal your lines by erasing edges that come off of them. So like let's say for example that let's say you drew a box and then you decided you only wanted this line in here. Well, that's going to be in there as two different segments. And that kind of throws everything off um, just because now when you go up in your entity info, for example, your length isn't showing the right thing. Well, if you want to heal a straight line into a single line, all you have to do is draw an edge off of this point and then erase it. And SketchUp will automatically heal this line for you. So you can draw a line and erase it to heal your edges um, to get them back into just individual pieces instead of multiple split pieces. So another tip that you can use with the line tools, you can also divide your edge. And so to do this, all you have to do is click on a line, right click and go down to divide. And then when you go down to divide, you can see how SketchUp allows you to move your mouse and it's gonna show you how many segments this is gonna get divided into if you were to click right on that point. So you can see how I can move my mouse and I can adjust the number of segments and you can use this tool to create equally spaced segments along your line. So in addition to being able to move your mouse, you can also type in a value. So you can see how down in the lower right hand corner, this is showing you the number of segments that would divide this line into. So if I was to type a value of three and hit the enter key, this would divide this line into three different lines. So you can use the divide tool to split lines into equally spaced length. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.